Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to watch or record uh, a VTOL stream using VLC. And for this, you're going to need um, C ports or any other port viewer. Um, that's the one I'm using for this tutorial. And you're going to need VLC, any version would do. So, first thing I'm going to do is open up the browser, and this is VTOL.com. Uh, channels listing, so I'm just going to pick a channel here. Alright, so click on the channel. And there it is. So we're just going to minimize this now and run C ports. And just go down the list until you see player.exe. And we're looking for the last one on the list. And looking for this remote port IP, I mean remote port um, ID, which on this one is 50612. And we're going to minimize that. Go back to the stream. Open up our VLC. Go to media. And we're going to open a network stream. And depending on what version you're using, could be different. Um, just the way it looks, same concept. Protocol is HTTP. Address 127.0.0.1, your local host. And the port ID, I'm just going to change that to 50612. Let's verify that again. Yeah. And then we're going to put a slash, and next is going to be. Beatles uh, server IP, which um, changes over time, but for now it's um, this value here 77 67 109 221 or 220. If it fails on 221, um, try the 221, I mean, sorry, 220. And next is the stream ID, which you can get off your address bar right there. Okay. So once you put down all that information in, all we're going to do is click on play, and it should start up any second. I have to right. to help you. Let's try and mute this. So as you can see, the um, the stream in your browser will stop, and. So will VLC in a couple of seconds, and it has. So once it has stopped, just click on play again, and that's pretty much it. We got the stream now. Rid of me, don't you? And you're watching it through VLC. I want you to get on with your life. And basically, now you can uh, do record it, do whatever, whatever you want to it. If you want to do recording. <coughs> Basically, instead of the open network stream, you're just going to put um, convert save and go to network. Same information is already there. If you click on convert save, then basically everything is there. Click on destination file. If you want to see it, display the output and then just choose your profile. Go through the settings, see how you know what kind of settings you want, and just click on start. That will basically start saving it. And that's pretty much it.